The short 11 months it took to make life-saving COVID vaccines is just the beginning for others. Messenger RNA has been the pathway to produce both the Pfizer and Moderna version. The Duke University Human Vaccine Institute is now contracted with the National Institutes of Health to create a flu vaccine that also uses mRNA technology. And we're actually have just completed in the past two weeks manufacture of a messenger RNA vaccine for influenza that should have broad re reactivity across many different strains. Which Dr. Barton Haynes says would allow us to only have to get a flu shot every four or five years. Instead of the guesswork needed to produce a seasonal flu shot, this vaccine would target what each flu season already has in common. And so that's where all this work is, is to learn how to target those common spots, those conserved regions that will react with lots of different strains or all the different strains optimally. It also would mean more people across the globe could be vaccinated because certain allergies would be eliminated. They go into cells in the body and then the protein is made in the body uh, that becomes the vaccine that stimulates the protective immune response. And of course there there's no uh, there are no eggs involved and no egg allergy. While the mRNA flu vaccine goes through clinical trials, it's currently expensive to produce. The raw materials are in high demand due to the amount of COVID vaccine being processed. But post-pandemic, Haynes says it will be cheaper and easier to make than the current process of making the flu vaccine.